Now, from the screen you're watching me on to the chair you're sitting on, chances are you're surrounded by products made in China, India and Europe. But they don't materialise in your living room by magic. Their long journey to your home actually relies on a trillion dollar international freight industry. But the process is much less high tech than you'd think. One company, though, thinks they can change all that through what's called an online marketplace. Freitos is the company, and Svi Schreiber is the boss and joins me now. And thank you very much for joining us here on BBC World News. Thanks, I know you have a lot to tell me about, but first of all, for viewers at home, what exactly is the freight industry? How does it work? Well, Mariam, your introduction was perfect. Uh, you know, everything... <laughs> Why, thank you. <laughs> You know, if you look at your clothes, your, your, all the products that you use, um, I, I looked on the way in here, the clothes I'm wearing today were made in Vietnam and Bangladesh. My mobile phone was produced in China. So, you know, if it wasn't for international um, freight, we'd be sitting on the floor naked and hungry and offline. Sounds awful. <laughs> so, well, that's right. Our modern lifestyle is really built on the assumption that you can move goods around the world. In fact, uh, $19 trillion worth of goods are moved from country to country each year. And 90% of the products that you buy have been imported. And the way they moved around the world, it hasn't really changed much, has it, in, in the last few years? I mean, it's not really kept up with the times. How do things move around the world? Yeah, I mean, the last big change was the containers, the standardised 20-foot and 40-foot containers back in the 50s and 60s. And since then, uh, not much has changed. So how do things move around the world? There is a huge network uh, in every country of ocean liners, airlines, trucking companies and rail companies. And then to organise all of that, there are about 100,000 freight forwarding companies in the world who all work together to get uh, all of these products uh, to us. And like you said, um, the importers and exporters are spending about a trillion dollars every year to get that, su that stuff moved around. So it is one of the biggest and most vital industries in the world. It costs a lot of money to get things moved around, but it works. So why change it? Yeah, you know, it works, but it doesn't work as well as you would think. Um, surprisingly, while passenger travel has been online for 20 years already, the entire freight industry is offline. And every time somebody wants to import or export something, they end up spending, you know, sending emails and faxes back and forth. They still send faxes? Yeah, oh believe it God. or not, I sort of call it the, the fax tax that you end up paying <laughs> on every product that you buy because the, um, it takes an average of three days to get a price quote uh, for freight. So the whole industry is very much offline and very much behind the times of other industries. So what do you want to do? Well, Freitos is the online marketplace uh, for freight, so it's like a kayak or an Expedia or an Orbit for freight, and any importer or exporter can just go on to freitos.com, put in an origin and destination, describe what they want to ship, could be a full container, could be uh, pallets, and they will instantly get prices for both ocean and air. So now, you know, booking, uh, as Freitos launches, Booking uh, online freight is just as easy as booking an online airline ticket. It sounds great for everyone at home watching who's in the freight industry, but what about people like me? What about customers? Will it make a difference to prices? Yeah, it should do. You know, certainly uh, the inefficiency of the freight industry does account for a few pence or cents uh, in every product. So uh, initially we're addressing importers and exporters and the freight forwarders who serve them. Uh, but certainly over time, as that industry becomes more efficient, it should trickle through to better prices for everyone and also more flexibility. If a shelf is suddenly empty uh, and you can quickly get an air cargo rate, then the retailer can fill the shelf quicker. How do you get around the differences in languages, differences in currencies, differences in uh, the, the needs of different parts of the world? Well, that's a good question. I mean, launching Freitas was not a trivial matter. We've, we've spent four years collecting data from all around the world, uh, thousands of excels with millions of uh, price rates for air and ocean and land. Uh, and as you say, they come in all currencies uh, and all languages, and of course quite a lot of them in Chinese. So Freitas works in Chinese <laughs> and it works in many um, currencies. And that's been part of our four years of preparation for this launch, is getting it to work around the world. Okay, Svi very good to talk to you. Thank you very much. Thanks, Mariam.